Kate Jesse, and we are just going to finish up our freezer meal workshop with some barbecue beef sloppy joes. And actually, I'm not gonna make mine with beef. I'm making mine with turkey because I don't eat beef. So if you wanna swap out turkey or beef, or turkey or chicken for the beef, go for it. And I apologize, my kitty is starting to lose it. <laughs> All right, so just like in the other recipes, I am going to um, fold my baggie over so that the edges stay clean when I add in the mixture. I have already cooked my ground turkey and my onions and my garlic in um, my pan, and I used my mix and chop to break it up all nice and perfect. I love this thing. And I have let the mixture cool so that it's not gonna melt my plastic bag. And I'm just going to scoop it into the gallon bag. Now this would be one of those things where I would make kind of a lot because um, just the turkey and onions and garlic alone would be perfect for like a taco night mixture um, or spaghetti. So you could just honestly freeze this meat just as it is, but we are gonna add the delicious homemade barbecue sauce to this. And this will be excellent on sandwiches. And all you'll have to do is pop it in the microwave for a few minutes to heat it up. All right. So I think we got all the meat and goodness out of there. Add that to my dishwasher pile. And we're going to start on our sauce. So we are going to use is it two or three? Three, three tablespoons of barbecue rub. I love this stuff. I'm gonna need to order another bottle. So one, two, and three of the barbecue rub. And optional, we like spicy, so I'm adding in a tablespoon of chipotle. Now, with along with the other recipes that we've made, if you don't like onions, or garlic, like the texture of them, please feel free to swap out granulated so you still get the flavor, but you don't get the taste. All right, now we are adding in one and a half cups of ketchup, and I may need to get a different bottle. So my friend told me about all these ketchup, and she said that it is just as good as Heinz. I don't know if I believe that because I'm a Heinz ketchup girl. I love, 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 love ketchup. And I bought a bottle to try it because I told her that I would. And believe it or not, it is really, really good. So if you are a fan of Heinz ketchup and if you need to try a different brand or you're trying to save money or something or you just can't find it like i couldn't find any ketchup the other day um get the all these it's really tasty okay so this is one cup of delicious ketchup Ooh, i need my scraper and we're going to add another cup or half a cup more I think honestly, next time I buy ketchup, I might even just buy the all these ketchup just to buy it. It's pretty darn good. And it's organic too. Not that the Heinz isn't organic. You can get the Heinz simply, but I was just impressed because we eat a lot of ketchup. I eat a lot of ketchup. Okay, so one and a half cups of ketchup goes into this mixture set that off to the side and then all we need to add is two cloves of garlic which i forgot to get out this is a big one and these are massive cloves so normally i would add additional garlic but since this clove is like ginormous i am just going to add in the regular two gosh it's almost so big i can't barely even squeeze it out of there but I did, I managed. All right, pop the other garlic clove in. And the last 
part of the recipe is one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Just adds a little something, a little kick, makes it yummy. All right. This is why I cook in an apron so I can wipe it all over myself. Now we're going to fold the bag back up, get out as much air as humanly possible. I kind of like roll it up, seal the edge, and then the fun part, we're gonna mix it all up. No bowls required. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. And this is so perfect for busy, crazy nights. All you need is some good brioche buns or some potato rolls. Pop this into the microwave. Get it all nice and hot. Add some cheddar cheese on top. And you have a delicious, easy, quick, family-friendly meal. And if you have extras left over, you can again make other sandwiches or you can put it on anything like tacos or nachos or quesadilla. Cause I kind of love a barbecue quesadilla, barbecue nachos just for something different. Maybe put some corn on it. Maybe put some, I don't know, green onions and pinto beans, but like maybe like baked beans. I don't know. I used to go to a restaurant that did that and it was tasty. Anyway, I'm going to get out my trusty freezer tape, but barbecue turkey, sloppy joe. And the date. And pop this into the freezer nice and flat so that it saves space. And I just know you guys are going to love this. Have a wonderful night. Bye.